Hello, good evening. Good evening, sir. Okay, perfect. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, let's go, let's do it. Ya van a ingresar los otros. Hello, George, how are you? Hello, good, good evening, I am fine, thanks. Okay, good. How was your day? It was hard, but um, everything okay. Good, good to hear. Hello, Sara. Hello. Hi, Sara, ya se conectó. Ah, excellent. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Sorry. <laughs> no problem. Okay, very, very good. You guys are ready? Yeah. Let's do it. Okay, so today, um, ya hablamos de los eh, indirect request, eh, section three. Now we're going to do section four. Section four, um, the first topic that we have there is about grammar. Eh, ¿Alguien ya lo vio? Grammar using, se llama using the past progressive and the simple past together. Yeah. Ya lo vieron, yeah. excelente. Yeah. Alex, you already saw it, good, okay? So let's let's focus on that one. Let's, let's try that exercise, okay? Uh, so let me see. Let me share my computer with you. Okay, very good. Let me share my computer with you. So I have an example here. I think you can see it. You can say, for example, I was watching television when she rang me. She rang me, es decir, ella me llamó. I was watching television when she rang me or when she called me. Now, here I have, yo estaba haciendo algo y después vino otra cosa que me interrumpió. I was watching television when she rang me. Okay. Now, sometimes we can use lo que se llaman eh, eh, clauses, when clause. Okay. Simplemente es que yo uso una palabrita aquí para como darme a entender que otra cosa pasó. I was watching television when she rang me. Uh, look at number two. My sister cut her finger while, mientras, while she was chopping some onions. Very good. Aquí está al revés, ¿verdad? Here I have the um, past. No, esto es muy difícil escribir con esto. Let me see. Uh, past progressive here, past progressive, and here I have simple past only. Okay? Entonces, a la estructura le puedo dar vuelta. All right, very good. So it's no problem. Okay? I was watching television when she rang. My sister cut her finger while she was chopping onions, okay? So, esto y ustedes ya lo vieron, el simple past, lo vieron en el primer módulo, eh, simple, eh, el, press, el past continuous, perdón. Remember, past continuous, I have to use the eh, ing, and I have to use the verb to be. Eh, ¿Cuál es el, el pasado de I am? is was. Was. I was chopping on you. Okay. Very good. Uh, can you do an example? Do you think you can do one? Ustedes hacen uno, yo le escribo acá. 
I was reading I was reading a book mm -hmm. when I remember what is the the past okay when I remember that I I need to cook, I need to cook the dinner Yes, very good. Okay, sí, puede ser así. I was reading the book, ahí está la primer clause, that is simple, a uh, past progressive, when I remember that I needed to cook the dinner. Yeah, no problem, very good, very good. ¿Quién más? Can you do an example? Uh, let's say Stephanie, she did an example in, in the chat here. She says, I was cleaning my room while my mom was sleeping. Yes, 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 very good. Uh, let's see, Sarai, she says, I was cooking when you called me. Yes, very good. George, can you do an example? Lo voy a hacer en el chat. Um, Maybe I, I was, uh, do, uh, I don't know, if, uh, doing my homework. Mm -hmm. Uh, when it start to rain, it start to rain. Okay, very good. Um, you can say I was doing my homework and then it started to rain, or I was doing my homework when it started to rain. Okay. All right. Por eso usamos esas palabritas, verdad? Como meanwhile or while, uh, when. So we use those words to help us understand. Okay, so I think a lot of people saw the video, right? So, alguien no ha visto el video? But it's basically the same. If you understand this, you understand the video. No problem, no hay nada nuevo. Okay, so in the video, you had this exercise here, okay? Maybe you can help me put it together, okay? Do you think you can do it? Yo creo que sí podemos hacerlo, yeah? Let's do it together. Uh, so the first sentence, uh, let's see, uh, Alex, you wanna help me with the first sentence? Yeah. One windy day, a woman was walking. Mm -hmm. Her feet pulled down. Okay. The street. Yeah, it's ah, uh, yeah, it's down <clears throat> the street. A uh, hair stylist. So. Mm -hmm. So the dog throw a window. And notice is crazy hair. Hi. Noticed ED, right? Past. Mm hmm And notice it's crazy hair. Later, while the stylist was creating. Was creating. Very good. A new line of hair care products for dogs and cats. He, he came up. Came. He came. Came up. Uh huh. A, a past participle. A past that came. Come. Came. Came. <laughs> came. Uh -huh. came. Came up with a new slogan. What is a slogan? A slogan is como una, una frase que, que se nos queda. Uh -huh. yeah. Even animals have bad hair days. Very good. A little story, right? Eh, unas cuatro o cinco oraciones, a little small story that you can do that. Okay? So I have here uh, an exercise for you. Okay, uh, 
I'm going to read the instructions for you. Este es lo que van a hacer aquí en grupos. Create a story using the past progressive and the simple past. Okay. So, uh, pictures that you can use, for example, you can maybe see a picture, something like this. Sorry, voy a borrar eso. Maybe you can tell me a story about people in a park. Okay. Había un grupo de personas. Um, for example, in the park here. I was talking to my friends when I saw a stranger come to us. Okay. Ahí pueden empezar, right? You guys can see a picture, all right? Whatever you want, okay? Maybe at the beach. Maybe in a restaurant, maybe at a park, okay? And you can talk to me uh, about anything, right? Una little story. How many sentences? Maybe five sentences, okay? You can make it funny. You can make it interesting, okay? All right. So let's go to groups. Let's go to groups. So le voy a pasar el ejemplo que hicimos in WhatsApp so that you guys can see it, just an example, okay? So let's go to groups. We're going to create a story. We're going to use the past progressive and the simple past together. All right, very good. So let's see a uh, grupo de tres y cuatro para que trabajemos así juntos. Uh, one person can write, and then you're going to share it in WhatsApp, and then we're going to read it together, okay? So vamos a leer lista de cada grupo. Tenemos tres grupos. All right, very good. Let's do three groups. Wilbert, está ahí? Can you accept the invitation, please? Go to groups. Hello, William, está ahí? Wilbert. Hello, good evening. Hello. Let's do it. You ready to work? Let's do it together. Okay. Um, who can write? Alex Rosibel. Hi. No, in my case, I can't. I can't. No, no, cell phone. Me too, I'm in a cell phone. So, uh, Rosibel, uh, are you in a um, in computer? Hola. Hola, Rosibel. Sí. Uh, ¿Usted tiene computadora? Sí. Yes, I have. Okay, Rosibel, si, si usted puede compartir su pantalla, eso no, no, nos puede ayudar para que usted pueda escribir. Y e ellos les van a ayudar a usted también. So, uh, for example, maybe you can talk about uh, ustedes tres fueron a 
a un restaurante, you sat down, or maybe you went to the beach, you went to a park, okay? While I was playing with my dog, I saw a stranger. Okay, solo le estoy dando ideas, ustedes pueden cambiarlo como ustedes quieran. Okay, let's go, let's do it. Uh, let's see, para que tengamos tiempo para compartir, 9.45. We stop at 9.45 and then we go, we're going to share, okay? Okay. Mm. Somebody has an ideas uh, to start this, the history? Hello? Have... Um, maybe we, ha we can start with... Um, One day I was walking in the street uh, or walking in a park. One day I was walking in a park when suddenly um, I saw um, a car accident. When you calling me and continue the history. <laughs> Wait, um... So you said I was shopping in the mall yesterday? Yes, I was shopping. Alguien puede tomar nota? Sorry, uh, yeah, I'm about to do that. Uh, can you repeat, please? I was shopping in the mall, in the Gran Vía, yesterday. When you called me, was near. When was near to, hay una palabra que es para decir echar un gol. You can say he was about to score. Thank you. <laughs> yes, score. Score. Uh -huh. score. Okay. okay. Was near to score one goal. But the other player of the other team. But the uh, guardameta <laughs> goalkeeper. Goalkeeper, thank you. When the no, uh, then the goalkeeper somebody is writing. <laughs> yeah, I'm writing. Okay, ah, okay. Thank you. I really appreciate. That. <laughs> okay. Um, Hole. So then the goalkeeper. The goalkeeper was block. Save. Block. block. Yeah, block. block. Was paying was paying attention. The, block the ball. Ah, uh, right. Was paying attention in order to use the, the, the example. Was yes. and then was the block. And then the the goalkeeper blocked the goal. Was paying attention when he blocked. The block goal. the goal. Exactly. But no, he's uh, the goalkeeper. Did you write? Did you write goalkeeper? Yep. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. Um. Can you read to us? Yep. Thank I you. can share my screen if you want. Oh, it's better. But I think you have to ah okay. Let's stop sharing. Just saying I'm going to change. Okay. Ah, uh, it's loading. We were watching. La TV, la TV, when a soccer player was about, was about, was near to score a goal. Could be about, uh -huh. es, es que cerca, 
I think it's ah, okay. more like. Ah, okay. Was about to score a goal. Then a goalkeeper. Ah, la, 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 la. Stop that. Okay. Or oh, block that. Block, block is de bloquear. Is the hard or algo así. Block the ball. The ball. The ball. Let me see. Can Why? I guess it's simple past? Uh, Why? Teacher, simple. but we can use the, the simple past then. Como diciendo, mientras nosotros gritábamos, creyendo que estaba, el, creyendo que había mm -hmm. metido el gol al final. Mm -hmm. Entonces pone wow at the beginning, but wow, we were screaming. No, but to the end, en, la, en el final. Era, vaya, la idea era como decir, uh, cuando nosotros estábamos viendo la televisión, a un jugador estaba cerca de meter un gol. Entonces el. El portero logró tajar, lo bloquear la pelota uh -huh. y nosotros estábamos gritando por el gol o algo así, o estábamos gritando de la emoción o algo así. Ok, entonces la primera oración, while we were watching the TV. Ok. Eh, while we were watching TV, solo the TV, no, no necesario. Ok. While we were watching TV, a soccer player. Solamente que aquí no puedes usar was about to score, sino que tiene que ser un simple past, algo que ya pasó. Simple past. Mm. Bueno, si quieres para esta primera oración, para introducción, está bien, déjala así. Then you can continue, but remember, you have to have a, yes. an ING and then have simple past. Yes. So that's okay. Then a goalkeeper was paying attention when he blocked the ball. That's correct. Uh -huh. That's correct. When he blocked the ball. I think the continue, we can say uh, we were very exciting. Oh, and we, we were excited. Exciting. Uh, and then say like, and we scream in past, scream the goal, but it doesn't do. But it's exciting and screaming. Uh, no, because we exciting is for ing. Then yes. we have to use a, a with the simple past. So mm -hmm. we were very exciting and we scream because in of past could be, the goal. because we thought we'll. Oh no, because we thought uh -huh. it was we going thought. to be a goal. Yes, it, it, it better. You're right. Yes, it's better. Eh. Nos merecemos una ola nosotros por eso. Porque ya terminamos. I'm agree. We're going to clap to us. Clap, 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 okay, clap, clap, clap. at 9.45, we're going to share. So when you're finished, you can put it in, uh, in WhatsApp. Okay? And then we're going to read it there. But continue. Give me like five okay. sentences. Oh, five fine. sentences. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Not only three. Okay. Give me more. Give me the story. <laughs> give me something. You can you can make it funny. Okay. <laughs> okay. Of the of uh, of the uh, one guys. One of one huh? One of those guys because was. Because he was drunk. Um, ¿Cómo podemos poner tomado? No sé. Yeah, drunk. Drunk, that's correct.
I don't know what can else we can put. Okay, what, 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 what else? Sir, I have a question. If yes. it is possible to change uh, the last sentence, the police arrested one of the guys, being that one of them was drunk. Mm -hmm. The police arrested one of the guys because he was drunk. I um, saw in a simple past. You need to put. Um, uh, remember, this exercise is. Algo estaba pasando cuando ot otra cosa lo interrumpió. The police yeah. were arresting one of the guys and then something happened. Si, si quieres dejarla así también, es decir, pero, pero no, no, no está según lo que estamos haciendo. Eh, eh, la puedes dejar y, y después continuar con otra oración que sí tenga esos elementos. Do you understand? Yes. Yeah. Um, si quieres dejarla así, pero de, ya después la, la, la oración que sigue. You need to have an action, something that's ha that, that was happening, was happening, and then something interrupted. Yeah. Okay, for example, digamos. Yeah. While the police were carrying him, he was, he screamed. While the police was carrying, no, a where, where, plural. While the police were carrying him, he screamed. While the police were carrying him, he screamed. Very good, okay, ahí está, that's an example. Okay. And then you can continue. Give me maybe five sentences, okay? 10 minutes and then we finish. Ah, pero creo que está, no sé. Y luego se lo comíamos. <laughs> Suddenly. <laughs> ¿Qué les parece así? Suddenly we were only eating. It's okay. Oh, sorry, eating candies and soda. <laughs> we okay. I don't know if you have another idea. Eating candies and drinking soda. Mm -hmm. um, Okay. Mm. Estamos todos de sí. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Five minutes, and then you can put it in <laughs> WhatsApp. Uh, we already have our our story. Okay. Then go ahead. Put it in in WhatsApp.
Okay, very good. I, I'm ready to hear your stories. If you can, put it in WhatsApp. Put the put it in message. Okay. I'm going to use, I'm going to copy it there. Okay, very good. The first group, um, the first group that I have here is El Grupo de Stephanie. Okay, so I'm going to share my computer. Eh, después el otro grupo que sí tengo es eh, Sara. Y falta un grupo más. Okay, so uh, el grupo que falta la puedo poner ahí la, la answer. All right, very good. So what are we doing? We're using the past progressive and then we're using simple past. So we're talking about an action was happening and then it was interrupted by another action. So let me, sh let me share my computer with you. And let's go to the first, the first one. I keep playing the group of Stephanie. Stephanie, alguien de tu grupo quiere leerla? I'm going to read it. I can answer. Okay. Go for okay. it. So tell us. I was shopping in La Gran Vía when you called me and you asked me to go for an ice cream. And I asked you if you wanted to go drinking. Oh, hold on, hold on. Eh, el resto, si se puede poner en mute, por favor. Okay. Sorry, um, sorry. Okay, no problem. Okay, go. Uh, can you do it again, please? Start again. Okay, I can do it if you want. Okay, all right. Okay. Um, I was shopping in La Gran Vía when you called me and you asked me to go for an ice cream. Then I asked you if you wanted to go drinking coffee but you didn't agree. So we went to a movie and we were having a good time, but we dropped our, our popcorn on the seats of the cinema. And suddenly we were only eating candies and drinking soda. Okay, very okay. good, very good. Solamente que esto es una, a one long sentence. So, hay que ponerle los puntitos. Okay. Right here, boom. I was shopping in La Gran Vía when you called me and you asked me to go for an ice cream, very good. Then I asked you if you wanted to go drinking coffee, but you didn't agree, punto. Okay, we went to the movie and we were having a good time, but we dropped our popcorn, very good. So aquí está, we were having a good time, but we dropped our popcorn. This is pre a past progressive. We're having very good, and this is simple past. We dropped a popcorn on the seats of the cinema, and suddenly we were only eating candies and drinking soda. Very good. Okay. So what I can tell you is. Traten de hacer oraciones uh, completas así, like not one long sentence, but short sentences. Okay. For example, you can say, um, uh, we were eating candies when, ¿qué pasó? When something happened. Okay. Very good. So I think you have a good example. This is a perfect example de lo que estamos viendo. This is perfect, perfect. Uh, I was shopping in La Gran Vía y después viene una interrupción when you called me 
and asked me to go for an ice cream. Very good, excellent. So that's a, that's a good job. Okay, the next group. Let's see, the next group. Let me put it in a photo, okay? Let me take the picture here. All right, who wants to read it? Alguien del grupo, de este grupo? You want to read it? Uh, me. Okay, Sara, go. While we were watching TV, a soccer player was about to score a goal. Then a goalkeeper was paying attention when he blocked the ball. We were very excited because we thought that could be a goal. However, the other soccer player kicked the ball while the goalkeeper was still on the ground. We started to scream again when our neighbor, when our neighbors were knocking the door to say, the baby's sleeping. Then we <laughs> continued watching the, the match and we whispered the celebrations. Excellent, good job. Very good, very good. Excellent. So, they have a good example here. No, el primer ejemplo, yo, yo les dije que lo pudieran dejar así como introducción. The number two is very good. Then, a goalkeeper was paying attention when he blocked the ball. Very good. We were very exciting. I still pass progressive. We were very exciting because we thought, aquí está el simple past, okay? That could be a goal. Very good. However, the other soccer player kicked the ball while the goalkeeper was still on the ground. Okay? So aquí tenemos the other soccer player kicked the ball. Este sería simple past. So now here, después de nuestra palabra clave, while, we need a past progressive. So aquí tiene que ir un ing. Uh, we started to scream again, very good, simple past, when our neighbors were knocking the door, past progressive. Excellent, so you guys have some good examples. Then we continue watching, ah, to say the baby is sleeping. Then we continue watching the match and we whispered the celebrations. Very good, excellent, good job. Okay, let's see, the next group. Group number three, uh, are you ready? And uh, let me see, let me just erase this. Okay, uh, group number three, ah, I said a group number three, I skipped, yeah? Ah, no, this is, aquí está, perdón. This is the next group, this is group number three, okay. Here it is. Let me copy, let me put it here in Word. Let me make it bigger. All right. Who wants to read it from this group? Group number three. Who's going to read it? Huh? Alguien del grupo? Yes. Um, okay, I, I going, I'm going to try. Okay, you can do it, go. Okay, one day I was walking on the street and I saw a, a car accident. Later, when the police was arriving, the people involved in the accident were fighting because no one wanted to pay each other. The police arrested one of the guys because he was drunk. While the police were carrying him, he screamed. After that, his, uh, his phone was ringing when somebody stole his phone. Okay, very good. All right, very good. Uh, Rosibel, do you have a question? No? I want to try. Ah, eh, ya la leyó aquí a un compañero. La acaba okay. de leer aquí. Perdón, disculpe, ya la acaba de leer. No sé quién era aquí el compañero. Okay. okay, es esta misma, ¿verdad? Esta es la que ustedes trabajan. Yes. Ah, yes. okay. Okay, very good. So, uh, e excellent. You guys have some good examples, okay? I, one day, I was walking in the street, ¿verdad? I stopped past progressive, and I saw simple past. Very good. And I saw a car accident. Very good. 
Later, when the police was arriving, okay, the police normally is plural. So we use where. Uh, while later, when the police was arriving, the people involved on the accident were fighting. So aquí tengo simple past and simple, uh, past progressive, past progressive. Because no one wanted simple past to pay each other. Very good. The police arrested one of the guys because he was drunk. Okay, this is, that's just simple past. While the police were carrying him, okay, he screamed. Very good. This is a good example, right? While the police were carrying him, eh, y aquí hay un buen ejemplo. No necesariamente tenemos que tener when or while, okay? Simplemente voy directamente a la intro, in, in, interrupción. Um, normally, you have a comma, okay? After that, his phone was ringing when somebody stole his phone, okay? Aquí lo que podemos hacer es quitar esto y decir, his phone was ringing when somebody stole his phone. Mm, sí, está bien la estructura. Solo que tal vez no tiene sentido. The phone was ringing while somebody stole his phone. Pero, maybe. I don't know. You guys explain it to me. Okay? Very good. So, you can go directly um, to your past. The past progressive. Very good. And then, stole. Simple past. Okay, very good. So, do you guys have any questions for this exercise? Hmm? Not to check, it's okay. Okay, quedó claro. Very good. So, um, eh, les dejo, de, si no lo han visto todavía, pueden ver el video. Okay, let's go to the knowledge check exercise. Uh, let me go there, please. Give me a second. Alguien ya hizo el knowledge check for this section? For this grammar exercise? Uh, no, teacher, not yet. Yes, uh, Stephanie, you said you have doubts with the verb carrying. Uh, no, no se escribe así como estaba. Uh, you have to have a Y. Uh, if you, I think it's like this. Carrying, carrying, mm -hmm. with a Y. All right, it's carrying, yes, double R, Y. Yes, correct. All right, very good. Let's go to uh, the section. I want to show you this section, uh, simple past, and the past continues, es el video. Then you can go to knowledge check if you want to go and see it, okay? Creo que algunos ya lo hicieron, but just uh, if you have any questions, I want to show you the answer. Okay. Uh, while divers were working. Ah, tengo que escribirla de nuevo. Let me see. No, so no, only on, were working. Only, okay. While drivers were working. They discover simple past. The divers who were filming a show about the coral they found. Yes? Excellent. Good job. Okay? So you guys can do the example there if you have any questions. All right, very good. So for this section, I think we're gonna go into verbs. Uh, so let me show you something. Uh, I have 10 minutes left. I want to show you a quick, quick review of the, the verb tenses. 
¿Cuántos verb tenses hay en, en, en el inglés? Do you remember? Do you remember? How many verb tenses do we have in English? Twelve. ¿Cuántos son? Yes. ¿Quién dijo twelve? Twelve. ¿Quién te dijo eso? <laughs> It's correct. 100% correct. Okay, very good. So, ¿cuáles son la, los categorías que tenemos? You have the simple. You have the continuous. The perfect. And then you have the perfect continuous. Okay. Now, eh, you have, solo hay tres, en realidad solo tres tiempos, ¿verdad? Past, present, present. Future. Right, that's it, right? Solo hay tres categorías ¿verdad? de tiempo. So, if you multiply, si tengo cuatro categorías y solo tengo tres tiempos, so, cuatro por tres, well, okay? Do you remember simple past? I played basketball. Okay? Simple present, I play basketball. A simple, a, sorry, a simple future. ¿Quién se acuerda? I will play basketball. Yes. Very good, very good, Patricia. Uh, try to give me the answer if you want. Hay uh, después, cuando terminemos aquí, le voy a tomar una foto y no se Okay. Okay. El continuous es el que acabamos de hacer, ¿va? I was playing. A present continuous? I am playing. I am playing. What are you doing right now? I am playing. What are you going to do tomorrow? I am going to play. Aquí hay dos formas. You can say I, I will be I will, I will be playing. Or I'll, I'm going. Or I'm going to be going playing. To be playing. I, y también I, I'm going to play. So in reality, different ways that you can say it. Okay? Play um, or playing. I'm going to play. What are you going to do tomorrow? I'm going to play basketball. What are you going to do? I'm going to be playing basketball. Sí, es que no me, no me dio el, el espacio para poner basketball, pero el, el complemento es básico. Okay. I'm going to play. BKB. Very good. Okay, so perfect. Do you guys remember perfect? I have played. I have played. Now, so, uh -huh. remember, hay dos categorías de verbos, regulares y irregulares. Okay, so also remember something about the verbs. Los verbos tienen tres tiempos, okay? You have base verb, you have simple past, and then you have past participle. ¿Quién se acuerda de eso? Hmm? Um, Let me see. ¿Se acuerdan de eso? Let me see, I think I have here. Uh -huh. There's an example. Um, no sé si podamos yes. ver este. Esta foto solo, solo estoy usando así como por ejemplo. Um, remember, for example, you have, uh, let's say, uh, quiero, quiero buscar, ah no, todos estos son regular. Okay, for example, you have drink, drank, Drunk. Mm -hmm. See, saw, seen. Okay, so for the past perfect, we have to use a past participle. Okay, remember to use past participle. So let's say, for example, I had, um, I had flown. Fly, flew, flown. 
viajado, volar. I had flown to Mexico. Okay. Now, if I for the for the past, I use had. What is going to be the present? What is the present? I have. I have flown to Mexico. Ya le voy a explicar cuando se usa este este verbo. Uh, the in the future, I will have the same past participle flown to Mexico. Okay. Now, cuando uso el past perfect, the past perfect, la palabra perfect in este contexto significa completa, es decir, algo que ya pasó, una acción completa. Okay. So I use it to talk about actions that started and finished in the past. Okay. Acciones que comenzaron en el pasado y terminaron en el pasado. Okay. Now. Uh -huh. uh, ¿Cómo sería entonces la pronunciación de, el, de los tres en ese caso? Pero me refiero a la pronunciación en español. Ah, la, la traducción. Pero, sí, la traducción, <ríe> perdón. Sí, por estar. Fíjate, fíjate que por veces las reglas no encajan. Así las reglas Ajá. gramaticales no, no encajan, no puedes, con la 100% no van. Pues uh -huh. siempre vas a tener que hacer un cambio para traducir. <laughs> so, the best, thing, the best thing for you is to remember. Aquí tengo que usar los yeah. past participles, okay? Also, for the past, had. For the present, have. For the, for the future, will have. So, remember that, okay? Lo uso para hablar de acciones que comenzaron en el pasado y terminaron en el pasado. Okay? Um, now, if you can do the continuous and you can do the perfect, si tú puedes hacer este continuous and the perfect, entonces puedes hacer el perfect continuous porque simplemente se unen los dos. Example. I had uh, I had been uh, aquí tenemos que usar been I had been playing basketball. Aquí tenemos que usar esta estructura. Had been. El been. Casi siempre va a estar el been. Um, for example, I have, the present, I have been playing basketball. Okay? ¿Cuándo uso esta? La que se usa más en el present. Perfect continuous. ¿Cuándo la uso? Imagine, for example, um, that eh, durante el tiempo de cuarentena, tú, tú, tú dijiste, yo voy a hacer ejercicio todos los días. Right? <laughs> I'm going to exercise every single day, right? right? Primero yo no, no entremos a cuarentena otra vez, pero imagínense. <laughs> well, now you know what to do, right? Well, I'm going to exercise, right? It's good for me, it's good for my body, right? Y después, cuatro meses después, me veo con mis familiares. And they say, wow, Carlos, you look good, you look strong. What have you been doing? I have been working out. Do you understand? ¿Cuándo se usa? Es como en español. Hey, ¿qué, ¿qué has estado haciendo? Yo he estado jugando basketball. O he estado haciendo ejercicio. Okay? is to talk about uh, an action, una acción en el pasado que estás haciendo continuamente. Comenzó en el pasado, pero continúa hacia el presente. I have been playing basketball. Um, and I will have been playing basketball. Okay. All right. ¿Para qué se gusta esa? Es para hablar de proyecciones hacia el futuro. ¿Dónde te ves en cinco años? ¿Ok? In five years, I will have graduated from the university. For example. Right? ¿Dónde te ves en cinco años? In the future, project it. Lo veo como ya un hecho completo yo en el futuro. I will have graduated from the university. Okay? So, together with this, 
¿Cuántos tiempos tengo? 12. Ok. So, ¿cómo van ustedes con su estudio de los tiempos de verbos en inglés? ¿Cómo van? ¿Pueden por lo menos a la mitad del cuadro lo podrían hacer ustedes? ¿Sí? Can you do at least the simple and the continuous? Yes. ¿Podrían hacerlo? Ok. I'm going to try. <laughs> <laughs> ok. But, uh, I feel better with this explication because I never understand that because I, I always change the, the grammar. Mm -hmm. But with your explication, yeah. or with, I feel better okay. or I understand better. Ok, ya. Yeah. Y, y fíjate que yo tengo otra, que yo uso colores y uso unos símbolos. Pero aquí no lo puedo hacer. No hay problema. Porque no puedo escribir así en la pizarra. All right, let me see. I'm going to send it to you, I promise. Uh, I just need to open the internet. Creo que perdí mi, mi internet. My Google browser. Ok, very good. Uh, do you have any questions for this section? Ok. So, esta sección estudiamos el simple past with the past continuous. Ok. Now, for your level of English, ustedes son eh, pre-avanzados, right? When you go to advanced English, deberían de manejar el simple, simple present, simple past, simple present, simple future, definitivamente, porque ese es básico. And then the continuous, the past continuous, present continuous, future continuous. Esos dos, los, es decir, los eh, simple serían los seis, la mitad, es lo que se usan más. Okay. So, los seis primeros son los que se usan más. For like normal speaking, you know, conversation speaking. Okay. Uh, so, deberían de manejarlo. Uh, for your level also, you should do the perfect. The perfect. Try to understand the perfect and study the perfect. Yo creo que algunos ya lo vieron en otras lecciones anteriores. Y... Y ahorita es solamente como poner todo eso así en, en contexto, like, well, you know, what can you do? Now, what you can do, right, is practice. Is, eh, traten de hacer un cuadro así ustedes y me lo pasan. And I'll show it, and I'll see it in WhatsApp. And uh, I, will, I will give you some feedback, okay? Now, eh, todas las oraciones que yo hice estaban en positivo. Recuerden que existe negativo y existe eh, en pregun forma de preguntas también. So, tienen que manejar los tres, eh, positivo, negativo y preguntas. All right. Very good. So, eh, practice. Eh, traten de llenar un cuadrito así. Les va a ayudar para ver dónde están en su grammar for verb tenses. All right. Questions. No? Okay. Very good. All right. So, todos eh, estén, creo que todos terminaron el examen, ¿verdad? Del midterm. Okay. Trabajemos la sección 4 esta semana. Eh, y ya la, después, la semana que sigue, terminamos este módulo. Um, all right, very good. Esta semana creo que nos van a estar pidiendo papeles de INSAFOR. Si no es esta semana, sería ya para la otra. Ok, ahí nos van a estar, nos van a estar pidiendo los, los papeles, documentación, etc. Ok, so ahí estén pendientes de eso. All right, very good. I'll see you tomorrow then, ok? See you tomorrow, night night. Ok, good night. Thank you. All right, have a good night.